Right guys, Gaft is back with a card trick which does not involve any gaffs, any gimmicks, any roughing balm, roughing spray, magnets, double stick tape, nothing. This is, or could be completely hands off for the performer. You could do this card trick over the phone, however you like. Just follow along and this trick should always work. But you do need a 52 card deck. And I've made a prediction. If you're gonna do this over the phone, maybe you could send this prediction to your friend via his phone message. But don't open the message till the end of the trick. So we're gonna take the cards out of the box and you'll get your friend to give them some proper good shuffles. Just so that, yeah, maybe a bit better than me. Just so that they know these cards are all mixed up. Nobody knows the order of anything in the pack. When they're happy, turn the cards face up and you're going to make three piles. If it's a red and a black card, you'll put it in the middle pile. Red and a black middle pile. For the black and black card, off to the side black and black and you're going to make a red and red if you find any red and red so if it's a red and a black it's in the middle two reds to the side two reds and you're going to go all through the pack just making these three random sized piles black and black together red and red together and red and black together until you've gone through the whole deck so we've got a few more cards to go red and black red and black Red and red, and red and black, and red and red. You've now got a free choice to pick either the Eight of Diamonds or the Ten of Spades. Bearing in mind you could do this over the phone. Let's say they want to remember the Ten of Spades. You can discard this packet for a minute, take the middle packet, drop it on top, turn everything over, and I want you to deal the cards into two piles from left to right. So they're going to deal the cards into two piles. Now it's fair to say nobody knows how many cards are in the packets. They were just two completely random sized packets. Had the cards been shuffled differently, the packets would have been a different size. Once you've shuffled them, I want you to pick up the right pile, drop it on top of the left pile. And then once again, deal it into a pile of cards, one pile. But when you think you've gone through half of the cards, at least half the cards, you can stop dealing at any point. So they're going to deal, yeah, we've got through half the cards, just drop these on top. The remainder of the cards can go on the bottom. You're remembering the Ten of Spades. Before the trick started, I made a prediction which I sent to you via text message. Or I got a piece of paper, you know what I'm talking about. And I wrote down the number 26. I want you to deal the cards face up onto the table and just see what happens when you get to the 26th card. 26, 10 of spades. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. This is the 26th card. If in fact this is the 10 of spades. That would be a pretty good self-working, completely hands-off by the magician over the phone card trick. So comment, subscribe, like guys, and don't bother coming back tomorrow for the reveal because all you need to do is exactly what I did. So that is a great self-working over the phone, hands-off by the magician, completely hands-off. You don't even need to touch the deck. Hey, how good is that? If you're new to my channel, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Any new subscribers helps me out massively. Get me to a uh, thousand subs for live streams. And just come back tomorrow for another card trick. Cheers.